Hello, in this video we're going to find the equation of the tangent plane to the graph of this surface at the point 1, negative 1, 1. Let's go ahead and carefully work through it. Solution. So the formula we're going to use is this one. It's z minus z naught, and that's equal to the partial derivative of f with respect to x at x naught y naught times x minus x naught plus the partial derivative of f with respect to y at x naught y naught times y minus y naught. So in this particular problem, we can think of z as a function of two variables, f of x, y. And so basically all we have to do now is find the partial derivatives and plug everything in and we're good to go. So we'll start by rewriting our function f in a nicer way. So you want to think of f of x, y as parentheses 4 minus x squared minus 2y squared to the 1 half. And I'm doing this so that we can actually take the derivative. So it makes it easier because now we can apply the power rule. Okay, so differentiating fx. Recall that when you're computing partials, you treat all the other variables as constants. So here we're going to use the chain rule. This is our inside function. We'll bring down the 1 half. Leave the inside untouched. Subtract 1 from the exponent. And then times the derivative of the inside function. So the inside function here is this. So we're taking the derivative with respect to x. This is going to be 0. This derivative is 0 because there's the y here. So it's just going to be negative 2x. We can clean this up and bring this downstairs and turn it into a square root. When this comes downstairs, it becomes a one-half power, which can be written as a square root. So this is x over the square root of 4 minus x squared minus 2y squared. Really nice. Notice I didn't put the xy. I'm just being lazy, um, so I'll do it here. fy of xy. I just omitted it here out of just pure <laughs> laziness. So one-half, 4 minus x squared minus 2y squared, same thing, except now we're differentiating with respect to y, so this will be 0 and this will be 0, so this will be negative 4y. Oh, I lost my negative there. Right, there's a negative there, be careful. These cancel, so this will be negative 2y over, bring it downstairs, it becomes a 1 half power, which turns into a square root. So it'll be 4 minus x squared minus 2y squared. All right, good stuff. So now we're ready to plug in our values. So in this particular problem, this is our x naught, y naught, and z naught. So let's look at fx at 1, negative 1. So plugging that in here, x is 1, so we get negative 1 over, and then the square root of 4 minus 1 squared is 1, and then y squared, uh, that's going to be negative 1 squared, which is also 1, so just minus 2. It's negative 1 over, 4 minus 3 is... 1, so we just get negative 1 over 1, so we get negative 1. So that's fx at negative 1. And then f sub y at 1, negative 1. Or that, that's fx at 1, negative 1, which is negative 1. f sub y at 1, negative 1. Same thing, we have to be a little careful now though, because this is our y. So it's negative 2 times negative 1, because your y is actually negative 1. Then here we get 4 minus... Uh, 1 squared is 1, same thing as before, minus 2. So this time it's going to be 2 over square root of 1, because 4 minus 3 is 1, which is just 2. Okay, so now we're going to plug everything into this formula we have up here, okay, very carefully. So it'll be z minus z naught, and we identified z naught at the beginning, we said that was 1, equals fx at x naught y naught, so that's going to be negative 1. Oops, it's going to be negative 1. And then parentheses x minus x naught, which is 1. And then plus this one, so it's going to be 2. We work that out. And then y, it's y minus negative 1, so it's going to be y plus 1. Okay, so then just clean it up. z minus 1 is equal to distribute here, so we get negative x plus 1 plus 2y plus 2, distributing. So you get z minus 1 equals negative x plus 2y. 
uh, looks like plus three, All right? So one plus two is three. And um, we can, uh, let's add the one over. So we get this. So that's pretty good. You can write it in, uh, whoops, you can write it in a nicer way. Um, you can basically leave it like this, or if you like, you can add the x over and subtract the two y, so it'll look like this, x minus two y plus z equals four. It's a nicer way to write it. So it's kind of like a nicer way to write the equation of a plane. So that's it. Just wanted to show you how to do a problem. Good luck.